Hello guys, I'm Mitchell Davis and today we'll be making a moringa cake. You'll be using two handfuls of moringa leaves. You'll be blending those leaves as fine as possible in a little bit of water. Fine until it's almost a slime. We'll be using half a pong of glow spread margarine. Just half a pong, guys. You take that margarine and put it in the pot. Then we'll be using a pong of white sugar. Today I'll be using this automatic mixer. If you don't have one, you can use your handheld mixer or you can just beat manually. That will be a lot of work though. Look at it mix. Now you mix until it's very fine. Almost like a cream. I'll be adding some nuts into my batter to make my cake. So I'm putting the nuts in a plastic bag so I can crush them into smaller pieces. We'll be using four eggs. Some vanilla essence for taste or flavoring. Three cups of flour, white flour preferably. Two teaspoons of baking powder. I'll now be adding my moringa. My moringa slime will be added. Continue to beat and stir until we get all of that green slimy good stuff into our batter. I add my nuts. At this point you can add some raisins if you want, but I'm adding some milk. Now I'm going to grease the pan. For this I'm using lard. I'll be 
add in a wax paper so that my cake won't stick. And I'm going to pour all that mixture into the pan. point your oven should be preheated I'm going to place it in there for like about well, between 30 and 45 minutes Voila, look at this beauty. You can top it up with some icing, but I'm not going to do that. I'll eat my cake just so.